Good day riders, today we've got another versus video for you. And as you can tell by the title, it's an HJC showdown between the all new Arfa 12 and the Arfa 1. They're both racing helmets and have the same competitors, however, they've got a huge price difference. The Arfa 12 has a recommended retail price of 480 euros, whereas the Arfa 1 has a recommended retail price of 700 euros. And with such a massive gap in pricing, it'll be interesting to see where the differences lie. Well, let's find out right now. Let's start with their material. Now both helmets have a fiberglass composite outer shell using ACC's premium integrated matrix technology that combines carbon, aramid and fiberglass in one shell. So it's basically fiberglass composite. The Arfa 1 comes in four outer shell sizes and the Arfa 12 has the exact same amount of outer shell sizes. The Arfa 12 weighs 1474 grams and the Arfa 1 is about 40 grams heavier. So don't forget that the Arfa 12 is not only more budget friendly but it's also lighter. Although, not by a large margin. Interesting. When looking at the ventilation, I think the most striking difference is in their top ventilation. With the Arfa 12, AJC opted for these winged top vents. And the interesting thing about these vents is that they're designed to reduce air drag and the amount of noise you experience if you close them. The Arfa 1 has the more common brow vents that are adjustable and have much larger air intakes compared to the Arfa 12. Both of these helmets have a vent right above the forehead, but the Arfa 12's vent is much larger. Moving down, their chin vent is pretty much identical, but the Arfa 1 has an extra small chin vent that's adjustable like every other ventilation channel it has. However, the Arfa 12 has these two openings that are blocked off by an insect filter. You might think these are two extra vents to let cool air in, but these are actually exhausts meant to funnel warm air out of the helmet. The Arfa 12 also has a traditional exhaust at the back of the helmet with two openings in its spoiler. The Arfa 1 has similar exhaust on the front of the helmet located outside of the cheek padding. And finally, the Arfa 1 actually has two exhausts on the back with four openings in total. At the end of the day, what matters is how they perform on the road. And according to our tests, they both managed to keep the temperature inside the helmet the same as the outside temperature. So no real difference in performance during our road test. Now onto the visors. Both of them have entirely different visors and visor mechanisms, but to be honest, you end up with the exact same features. Both of them are prepared for a max vision pin lock lens, which is included in the box alongside an extra smoke visor for both helmets. They both have a rapid fire system that makes it very easy to remove the visor. This rapid fire system is executed differently on each helmet, but it gives you the same benefit. It's hard to find any real difference here. So again, pretty much the same specs and benefits for both helmets. And this trend continues once you take a look at the inside. The layout of the inner liner is identical and also the fabrics are largely the same, with only the crown pad and the forehead padding being slightly different. And comfort wise, our test rider didn't really favor one over the other and said they were both very comfortable. Okay, so far these helmets have been very similar, but there is one important difference between these helmets. The brand new Arfa 12, while it is a racing helmet, is not FIM certified. And this is important as lots of racing tracks require you to wear an FIM certified helmet. And for good reason. FIM safety standards are the highest in the industry, particularly for high speed safety. The more expensive Arfa 1, however, is FIM certified and perfectly track legal at all times. So for you serious racers out there, the Arfa 12 can be a non-starter. But if you're planning to use these helmets for normal road use, it's challenging to make an argument in favor of the R41. That's it for this comparison. Helmet product lines can get a bit confusing at times and hopefully this video clarified the differences between these two models. In this case, there were very few aside from the FAM certificate on the R41. I'm curious which one you guys prefer and let us know in the comments below. Both of these helmets and many more premium models are available at championhelmets.com where we have the lowest price guaranteed and very sharp discount bundles. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Buy smart and ride safe. Until next time.